Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing? Matt Antonelli here. Uh, wanted to answer a question um, that I get all the time. It's really not a question. It's more of a statement by players. Um, whether it's high school, I've seen this in college a lot during my time coaching there. We see it in travel ball during the summer and the spring. And it's players that maybe aren't, aren't playing as much as they want to. And they say, coach, just give me a chance to show you what I can do. Just give me a chance. Give me some more at-bats. Give me some more innings on the mound. Give me whatever it is. Just give me some more chances in the game. And I'm going to show you that I should be out there and that I'm going to perform well and play. Right? And it's usually, I mean, it's, it's and I don't blame the players. They want to play and they want to show us what they can do. Um, and it, it is common. If you're a coach, you've heard it probably a thousand times. If you're a player, you've probably said it at some point if you're not getting the time that, that maybe you want but one thing I think it's, is important to understand um, is that it's not just about the game, right? So coaches are evaluating in practice every single day, okay? And I think players don't always understand that because there's, a, there's so many players um, that, you know, I've heard this from or have told me this, hey, just give, just give me a chance in the game. But when you watch the way they practice – um, either they're, they're not going about their business the right way. They're not giving a hundred percent practice. Maybe they're sulking a little bit because they're not playing, you know, they're not getting the playing time they want and they're a little bit down in practice. Um, maybe they're just not performing well in practice, right? Um, maybe their, maybe their BP has been really bad. Maybe the at bats and, and scrimmages do not look good. Maybe they, they're not, you know, again, something as simple as batting practice, fielding balls in the outfield or fielding balls in the infield. Maybe they don't look good there. Maybe their I.O. doesn't look good. So I think it's important as players, you've got to bring it in practice every single day, right? That's where the evaluation happens. Players players sometimes say, you know, you know, maybe they're not getting the time in the game. And they say, how am I ever supposed to play? You don't ever give me a chance to play, right? Well, more often than not, we're evaluating, not more often than not, all the time. Any good coach is evaluating in practice. And if they don't see something in practice, if, if something doesn't look good, if a player's either not practicing hard, not giving 100%, not doing the things that, they, that the coach is asking, or just not practicing well, it's very difficult to then put the player in the game, right? If I can't trust him to do well in practice, how am I going to trust him to do well in the game? So for me, that's, that's the first thing for a player to understand. And to look at, if I'm not getting the time in the game, what does my practice look like, right? So be honest with yourself and evaluate your practice. Now, some players have a difficult time doing that. Some players think that they look awesome all the time, right? I'm the greatest player ever. I practice amazingly. And this coach just has it out for me. He just doesn't like me, right? In my experience, coaches want to win, right? Again, depending on the level you're at, and this usually happens at a little bit of a higher level because if you're at a 10U or an 11U or 12U, I mean, you're probably, everybody's playing, right? There's probably very few teams where guys just sit on the bench all the time. So as you get a little bit higher, um, you know, again, this has probably happened at the, at the high school level or the college level or pro level. But coaches want to win, right? And, and in most instances, if the coach doesn't win, he gets fired, right? If you're a college player, if the college coach doesn't win, he's gone, okay? And that's how he supports his family. Um, it's his job, right? And even at the high school level sometimes, if the high school coach doesn't win, he's gone. Um, and obviously at the major league level, but I, I don't know how many major league players are. Um, this probably isn't geared towards major league players. But remember, the coach is, is his main job at most high levels is to win. So there's no way that you're – doing everything right in practice, you look, you're, you're giving it a hundred percent. You look, you're the best player out there. You're doing everything perfectly. And the coach just doesn't want to play you. That probably isn't happening. Right? So there's something going on. There's something going on where the coach says, I think the guys that I'm playing are giving our our team the best chance to win. Right? And so you have to look at that and you have to be honest again with yourself and figure out, all right, I have to do something differently. I have to work hard in practice. I have to perform better. If you don't know what it is, if you can't figure it out, go ask the coach. And he should tell you, right? If you go up to the coach and say, hey, coach, can I talk to you after practice? Yeah, sure thing. Most coaches say, sure thing. Talk to me after practice. Coach, you know, I haven't been getting the playing time that I really, that I feel I deserve. What is it that, why am I not getting, 
the playing time. And the coach should have a reason for it, right? Well, you're doing this in practice. It, it's, it's usually going to come back to that. You're doing this in practice. You're doing that in practice. You got to get better here. You got to do this. This guy, he probably won't say this guy's doing that, but he'll probably just keep with you and say, you know, here are the reasons, okay? And maybe it is. Maybe you have gotten a few chances in the game and you just haven't performed, right? And they go to somebody else. And it's not always fair and it's not always, right? Sometimes guys don't get 30, 40 at bats to show them what they can do, right? If you play on a really good team, you may only get in there and get three, four at bats. And you better perform in those three, four at bats. And if you don't, maybe it's the next guy's turn. It's not always fair, but that's the way it goes, right? The, the, Coaches don't always have the luxury of just saying, hey, we'll give this guy, you know, give him 20 games and let's just see what he does and he'll he'll, he'll get it going, right? Sometimes it's only one game, okay? And there were pl plenty of times in my career as a player where I felt like, yeah, if I got more playing time, I'd do better, right? But I didn't, right? My last year, my last season playing with the, I was in AAA with the Cleveland Indians, I got three at-bats in the first month of the season, okay? And, yeah, I felt like if I got a little bit more time, maybe I would, maybe I'd, do better. It's, it's hard to hit when you only get three at-bats in a month. But again, it's not always fair and that's the way it goes. So you get, you just got to grind it out and you got to give it everything you've got, those three at-bats or four at-bats or five at-bats, whatever you get, give it everything you got. And if you don't do well, you know, you got to wait your turn the next time. But you better be busting your butt in practice. You better be doing everything that there possibly could be to get back in that lineup, right? And hopefully you work hard enough in practice, coach sees you working, he sees you getting better and he says, hey, give them a shot and when you get that next opportunity hopefully you do well okay so you know just something i get i see all the time okay and so hopefully this this clears things up for you guys a little bit and if you have any questions or if you have any specific examples of this happening to you i'm sure there's a bunch of guys out there that this happens to i hear it all the time whether it's through email or on youtube or our instagram or twitter or you know just in real life so i'm sure there's a bunch of you that are experiencing it if you got questions let me know hopefully i'll help you guys out now that i'm on the other side um i i was a player not too long ago, so I, I kind of know um, what it feels like as both a player and as a coach. So hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up on this video. We really appreciate that. Share with all your friends. Check out our Instagram page, AntonioBaseball.com, and uh, my Twitter feed, Antonio 9 where I'm posting videos all the time. Um, also check the description box below, where I've got uh, a bunch of links to books I've been reading lately or in the past that I think will help you guys out and also some uh, training tools that we use with our guys. Um, be sure to check out our website, AntelineBaseball.com, uh, if you guys want to work, do any lessons, um, or check out our team info. Other than that, that's all I got. Good luck, guys, with the rest of your season, and we'll talk to you later.